trouble comes in threes. A deadly peanut allergy, a mystery abdominal pain, and a desperate race for life. Midday, and Harry's responds to an urgent knock at the door. A lady presented herself with pain in the abdominal area. Quite, quite pain here. Out of 10? Nine. Nine. Can you call an ambulance, Jeff? Nine out of 10 warrants a trip to hospital. She needs advanced medical care. But Harry's has a sinking feeling about something in the water. I look out into the water and I see a guy under. This guy's like 60 to 70 metres out the back and I, I really thought this was going to be a fatality. Controlling a nine-foot rescue board in pounding surf takes years of experience. Oh, OK, he's in a lot of trouble. I was thinking of running the defib down to the shore because I thought this guy's got no chance. Each wave costs Harry's precious time. Hey. I have a heartbeat at about 200 right now. And a wave hit me and it flipped me back towards the beach. And I just thought, it's over. This guy's under. Oh, mate, that rip's so hectic. Then I just see the top of his head. Hey. I don't know how he didn't go under. He copped about six waves on the head. He'd taken on a lot, and G was happy to see me. The man and his friend, both tourists from Korea, hired a surfboard between them. In the big waves, they became separated. I'm paddling out to you, and I thought you were going to be on the bottom because those waves were hitting you, yeah. and I just thought people have drowned here, and I had it in my mind like I had to get to you really quick. A critical rescue and a woman in the tower with abdominal pain. But trouble often comes to the lifeguards in threes. She came in the door and she was crying. She was saying, I'm sorry. And I was like, what's going on here? The 21-year-old Victoria is a student from Norway. Her severe peanut allergy causes anaphylaxis. Okay. And have you had an allergic reaction before? Yeah. Is this so what you I felt like? I know this feeling, yeah. Left untreated, Victoria's throat will become so swollen she may be unable to breathe. The worst case of anaphylaxis is you stop breathing and you die. Could you just wait a little bit and get some water? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The lifeguard's best chance of saving Victoria is via a shot of adrenaline from an EpiPen. I've never jabbed some with an EpiPen. Right, do you want to hold my hand? Just hold my hand. Yeah. Right, there we go. When I had it in my hand, I'll admit I was shaking. I was like, well, I only had a little bit, all right? You ready? Sure. Right here or here? All right, ready? That's it, deep breaths. That's it. Breathe through it, you're That's good. That's it, good. So I hit her with the EpiPen, bang, held it in for 10 seconds, and um, I thought that was gonna be it. It's gonna come good, and she didn't. Okay, lay down, sweetheart. That's it. There we go. Ooh, Victoria right? from Norway is suffering anaphylactic shock from accidentally That's eating right. peanuts. Get her on the side. That's it, just roll her over onto the side. There we go. That's it, you're all right, sweetheart. This situation is beyond lifeguards medical training. Harry's and Jethro are well out of their depth. When she dropped on us, I was so scared. I thought maybe this would be a recess. Jake, yeah. do you want to ring the ambo and update it? An ambulance has already been called, but it's for a woman on the first aid bed suffering severe abdominal pain. To make it more urgent, because they were coming for stomach pain, but now they're coming for this. They're just dropping like flies. Let's see, you're right, sweetheart. Victoria is barely that's breathing. It. Lifeguards must artificially respirate her using the Oxyviva. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. Yeah, back back. Yeah. When she went unconscious, I, I kind of thought she'd been through adrenaline. Now she's in shock. Can you hear me? Uh, we put her on oxygen, breathe her up a little bit. What's your name? I'm Victoria. Gets oxygen now. Slowly and slowly, she got better and, and came to, and that was, that was a big weight off our chest. As the oxygen reaches Victoria's bloodstream, she begins to recover. Just 
and you know, once she was in proper medical hands, it made me happy. In just 60 minutes, Harry's and Jethro have dealt with three major incidents. You know, a lady of abdominal pain, 10 out of 10, a guy drowning directly in front of the tower, and then a third lady having an anaphylactic reaction to peanuts. Bondi is just the most crazy place 